I figured out that my emotions did not matter. It did not matter when it came to the grand scheme of things of me trying to accomplish my goals. And my goals currently is I want to become monetized by the end of October. So I'm doing everything possible to do that. But before I even got to this point of having, of going after my goal, I needed to take a step back because the thing is that I've set this goal multiple times um, for many years, for about 10 years of wanting to do YouTube and really take it serious and have a business behind it. It's been a 10 year journey for me because I used to have an old YouTube channel and it still exists, but I'm not active on there anymore. I created this new channel because I wanted a fresh new start because obviously the last channel was just a bunch of random videos that I've made over the course of 10 years. So when I made with this when I made this new channel, I had the intention of I'm going to start fresh, I'm going to start new and I'm going to make sure that I'm creating content that I am happy with and that makes sense for the audience that I want to attract. So like I said, it was a 10 year process of me trying to figure out how the heck can I make this happen for myself because I've set this goal multiple times where I'm like, I'm going to be serious, I'm going to be serious, I'm going to be serious. And then the next thing I know, the following month, the following week, I don't upload or that it's been months since I've uploaded or I'm just not being consistent. And I'm like, what is it? Like, what is it that needs to be given? What is it that I'm missing that I just for the life of me, I cannot get to be where I need to be because the thing is that when you search how to become disciplined on whether it's YouTube or on Google you kind of get like the same type of responses the same type of advice and I'm just like okay if I need to become disciplined I'm gonna have to figure this out myself because the advice that's given out there is not working for me and it's not like it's not it's just not happening like I can't get it and this month i really put my theories into practice and i put my whole heart into trying to become less disciplined trying to become more um what's it called more consistent and more committed to my goals and i can tell you guys and i'm i'm gonna break it down in this video but i'm gonna tell you guys that a lot of it has to do with your mindset more than anything more than anything it has to do with your mindset that's why i say emote your emotions do not matter at all it does not matter how many times you need to break down your goals so it could become manageable it does not matter how many times you need to just um think positively like it it truly does not matter your emotions and it does not matter how you feel towards the plan you just gotta go out there and do it that is literally what discipline is and i'm gonna give you guys the psychology the breakdown the mind hacks that i did because i i was a weak-minded person i was a weak-minded person i was a lazy person i just wanted to procrastinate and so i feel like this channel is perfect for those type of people and hopefully will give you an idea of how you can slowly switch your mind around to become the person that you want to be so that you can go after your goals so <clears throat> with that being said the objective for today the things that you're going to learn is you're never number one you'll never find peace in what's not meant to be yours and we will talk about that today number two progress is the magic sauce again we will talk about that and lastly you'll have to live breathe and consume your goals and we're going to be talking about these topics to, in today's video but before we get there i did want to say if you haven't subscribed to my channel please 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 subscribe so you do know when i do upload and follow me on all my social media i'm at Geraldi silva okay let's get to the first thing so number one you'll never find peace in what's not meant to be yours i have come across this so many times in my life when i feel like I get to a place where I'm like, okay, this is where I, I'm supposed to be. This is where I need to be. And something was pulling me towards my goals. Something was still pulling me back into YouTube, back into creating my own business. Like something was pulling me back. And to this day, it still is. It's still pulling me to this. Like the energy, like I feel so connected when I am talking on camera. And um, I would try to get comfortable with my career. I would try to get comfortable with my jobs. I would try to get comfortable with the people around me. And for whatever reason, I just can never find peace. I can never find peace because there was something in my head constantly telling me, Geraldi, you need to go 
back to your goals you need to go back you need to go back you need to go back and so if you are kind of like in that same mindset of <clears throat> something is pulling me towards my goals and i cannot for the life of me forget my goals like i can't forget my vision i can't forget my dreams like it's just pulling me towards it and i can't i can't find peace in my career i feel like there's something bigger out there for me i can't feel comfortable in my little apartment something is pulling me to something greater if that is happening it means that it's meant to be yours and there has to be an action step taken in order for it to be yours you have to align yourself to your goals so how do you do that how do you like even begin i we and we'll talk about like how how to begin but what i did want to say is that you are never ever ever going to find peace and what's not meant to be yours you're never going to find comfort you're never going to find like a footing because it wasn't meant to be yours it wasn't meant to be where you were supposed to be home that that's not your home your home is going to be something that you cut you come to and you can feel like you can relax because you know it's never going to leave because again it's meant to be yours and i guess we can never truly feel comfortable in our situation because things can happen but if you're constantly being pulled to something greater and something bigger than what you have then i think it's time for you to listen to it and start journaling start journaling start visualizing what the grand scheme what is it that you want in your life so for me i again just never felt comfortable in my job i just didn't feel like i could find peace in it and then I made the decision back in December of 2020, what are we, 2022, no, we're in 2024. So back in 2023, I made the decision that I was just going to be putting my focus onto YouTube, that I was going to make it happen. And I'm still in the process of making it happen. So I I feel this like strong like urge to just go after it because i know i'm gonna find peace in my videos in making my videos and helping others out there to switch that mindset and basically share my findings of what i've done for myself to become more disciplined to become more committed and so that was my one piece piece of advice if you are in a process where you cannot find peace in the life that you are living then that means you are meant to have greater and bigger things which is a really great thing because a lot of people are kind of lost out there have no direction have no purpose and don't know don't really know where to go with their lives so if you're being called and pulled to something that is just not leaving your mind that is a great thing because you kind of have found your calling that is your calling and i think it's beautiful if you want to explore that so how do we explore it right number two process progress is the magic sauce i love this quote i created it myself but i love this because i for the life of me always thought in order to be come disciplined in order to become happy with myself i needed to complete the goal i need to like, kind of like a to-do list right once you complete the to-do list like you get to check it off and you feel complete right I always thought it reflected the same way when we were going after our goals. I always thought like, oh yeah, if I check off my my goal, it means that, you know, that's when I'll feel happy. That's when I'll kind of like the discipline within myself kind of just like, oh, I'm, I'm here. I get to live in my labor. And so I, every single time that I put myself in the position of I'm going to film a video and I'm going to try to be consistent, I was constantly just thinking of how far away the goal was from where I am today. Like me having my business is probably three years down the line before I can even make enough money to quit my job. Or Ugh, it's going to take me such a long time to have the body of my dreams. I have to wait a year out before I can even see myself and feeling confident, right? But what I didn't realize and what is actually important in the discipline journey is that progress is the magic sauce progress is is where you're going to find the discipline the commitment and the consist the consistency to want to continue this is where you're going to find those skills because the moment that you start seeing the scale the weight on the scale go down the moment that you start seeing your debt paid off the moment that you start to see your bank account numbers go up the moment that you see that my like my subscriber count going up or my watch hours going up watching that progress 
brings me more joy than probably actually accomplishing it because again it's the journey right everybody says it's the journey it's never actually having the mountain and in this case i would say it's freaking true that's why i say progress is the magic sauce once you get to the point where you are actually making progress you're gonna want to become addicted to that progress progress and want to keep going so if anything if anything you want to take from this when you are starting your discipline journey when you are starting to try to go after your goals focus more on trying to make your first progress right if you are paying off your debt your goal let's say you have ten thousand dollars in debt your goal to make progress is to pay off one thousand dollars don't make the goal of i'm going to pay off ten thousand dollars right because that's the ultimate big dream is to pay it off completely create the goal among the progress that you are going to make along the way so instead of saying i'm going to pay off my debt right now if you are not disciplined i my advice to you is to say i'm i want to pay off the first one thousand dollars of the ten thousand dollars that i owe because that's a lot more closer that's a lot more faster and that's how you're going to see the progress that's how you're going to be able to believe in yourself that you're actually going to be able to accomplish it because that's where you that's the psychology of thing you have to make yourself believe that you're actually going to get where you want to be because before i didn't believe in myself to think like oh yeah there's gonna be people who are gonna be watching me there's gonna be people who are gonna adore me there's gonna be people who are gonna find my videos helpful there's gonna be people who are, there's gonna be a chance where i'm gonna go up in my views or up in my watch hours or up in my subscriber count i didn't believe in myself until i started putting out these videos and i started watching the subscriber count go up that's when i was like oh my gosh like i believe in myself now so to get to that point put your goal into the progress not the actual completion if you are somebody who is not disciplined right now so like i said your goal if it is to pay off debt and you know take that take that example and like place it wherever it is that you're trying to accomplish but place it into the progress my goal for the next i don't know three months i'm going to pay off the first one thousand dollars of the ten thousand dollars that i owe and once you complete that goal, once you're like, okay, $1,000 doesn't seem like that much, like it's just a couple paychecks, I'll be able to pay off $1,000. Once you pay that off, you're going to be like, wow, I did the first $1,000. Now let's get to the next $1,000. And then slowly but surely, you're going to start getting into that rhythm, getting into that routine, and getting into that consistency, which is what we need. You get into the rhythm of progress and like i said progress is the magic sauce once you are in that rhythm once you're in that alignment of <clears throat> completing a couple goals those small little goals that is when you're going to want that is when you're going to see the magic happen and that is when you're going to see you paying your your debt off in the next three years and that my friend is what changed my mindset i was like oh that is what i needed to do i call it watery the uh, this is the strategy that i created for myself it's called the watered down version of your goal if you are somebody who is just very lazy such a procrastinator doesn't is not disciplined at all <clears throat> instead of having the huge big goal of i'm going to pay off ten thousand dollars for somebody who is lazy pro a procrastinator and doesn't like to get things done on a quick manner um you're going to see that ten thousand dollars as such a big big goal and you're if you're somebody who puts that off you're gonna put off those ten thousand dollars you're gonna be like i can't freaking do that that's not that I, i'm gonna just put that off like it'll eventually get paid off and so you'll put it off put it off put it off and then you're gonna owe a lot more money over time and that is the consequence of you putting off stuff but <clears throat> the watered down version means what can your laziest mind do what is the laziest version of your what is a watered down version of your big goal that your laziest mind can't even like talk yourself out of it if it's like i'm gonna pay off 500 dollars of this you're not gonna think oh man like i'm gonna put that off you're gonna be like 500 dollars like that's not that bad i can that's like two paychecks i can pay that off right now you gotta mind hack yourself and then mind hack yourself enough to beat your own game beat your own brain of i want to procrastinate make it so stupid so stupid to be like i want to pay ten dollars off of my debt 
make it so freaking stupid that you're just gonna be like oh my god like i can't believe i have to literally tell myself i have to pay ten dollars in order to get myself to do something like make yourself feel bad make yourself feel bad have <clears throat> have that be like ew like this is nasty like do i really have to do this in order to get myself to do something and then you're like do i really want to live a life like that that's when you're going to start to feel that motivation and you're going to see who you want to be and who you want to become so that is progress is a magic sauce i hope that helped somebody out there and if it helps you i'm happy for you okay so before we get to the last thing of this video i did want to announce that i have a free membership over on facebook called the committed collective it is free for anybody to join it is an accountability group where we talk all things goals and wanting to achieve them at the moment i am currently looking for a different platform for those who do not want to be on social media whether it's like creating a whatsapp or some other platform where um i hopefully can make it free and if not hopefully i can make it cheap enough for you guys to just pay for it um but my ultimate goal is to make it free because i don't i don't want you guys to pay for an accountability group but if anything if i can't find it for free and i have to like have a membership in order to pay for it then hopefully i can make it cheap enough so that it's reasonable for you guys to join so um i might be moving the accountability group over to the new platform if if and when i do find it but if anything um we're gonna keep it on facebook but if you want to join it's over there it's free for anybody to join on facebook um another thing too is that i have a free resource if you want it it is a goal setting mind map for those of you who just want that extra help on creating your action plan so you can go after your goals um it's basically just like these prompts and you get to organize your thoughts and create like i said an action plan that's going to help you tackle every obstacle that comes your way and um that will be in my website drawdisable.com you will be signed up for my newsletter that i send out every thursday so if you want to receive those newsletters sign up you also get the free resource with it so okay let's get to the last one i've been rambling too much so last one number three you have to live breathe and consume your goals <sighs> okay so the way that i changed my life and the way that i changed the way i am going after my goals and discipline in general is i live breathe and consume my goals there's not a day that goes by where i'm not doing something for youtube not doing something for my business where i'm not thinking about my business where i'm not thinking about how can i get to where i want to be every single day i am living breathing and consuming it which is me reading which is me watching youtube videos which is me working on it i promise you every single day stop scrolling mindlessly on tiktok stop scrolling mindlessly online and watching videos that do not benefit you in any other way other than to level you up do not do this because i and if you do it has to be within a reward reward system and so for example if you tell yourself if i go to the gym for one hour i can watch afterwards i can watch one hour of tiktok or i can scroll for one hour on instagram reward yourself with the things that you really truly want but you have to put in the effort to actually work for that reward system because if not you're just going to give yourself that treat every single time and your brain is going to think to your to itself like i don't have to work hard in order to receive the things that i want that make me feel good i'm just going to keep giving them to me and you're going to keep falling back falling back because you're constantly rewarding yourself with something that you're not even doing you're avoiding responsibility you're avoiding your life you're delaying your goals because you continue to give yourself in to things that do not matter that do not truly matter so when i tell you to live breathe and consume if if you're going to lay down and be lazy at least at least read a book or if not watch a youtube video about making yourself feel better about how you can change your mindset about how you can change 
the way you view life and how you go about with like discipline and commitment and going after your goals like at least do that if you're gonna be lazy because that's what i usually do when i want to be lazy i'm just like i'm gonna be lazy but i'm still gonna watch something that's at least useful to me because i'm not gonna just lay here and do nothing and if i really just want like a brain break completely and i'm just like topped out of anything then i'm like okay you know what i deserve this scrolling on tiktok i i gave myself that not the other not that long ago like the other day I came home from work and I was just so tired. I'm like, I'm just going to take the entire day, the rest of the day, and I'm just going to relax. But I did edit my video that day and I did film that my video that day. So I rewarded myself because I worked hard throughout the day and I just came home and I was just so tapped out. But again, re have a reward system, okay? Stop giving in to yourself. And I have this thing about like an iPad kid. If you guys don't know what an iPad kid I'm more than sure a lot of us do, but if in case you don't, what an iPad kid is essentially a parenting system where um, if a kid is acting up or a kid is like requiring too much attention, the parent just gives the iPad to the kid to kind of avoid the parenting and is like a substitute to, to them not wanting to deal with their own kids, right? To not want to deal with their own responsibilities, their own parenting their own they just don't want to put in the effort to take care of their own kids so they give them the kid the ipad kid and the ipad kid is probably fucked in the head because it's like fuck like i'm not i'm getting neglected i'm anytime that i ever need anything i'm being avoided and i'm just giving this ipad and then the ipad is such a bad it's such a bad habit because it's they're just consuming things all day that really don't matter and so they're not getting like that social interaction they're low on their like language skills and it's it's just all around bad and so the point is that an ipad kid is is a cause because of a parent who doesn't want to parent who doesn't want to deal with their own kids doesn't want the responsibility so they give their kid the ipad and i see that within ourselves as a society where we are our own ipad kids because we are chronically online okay anytime where you need to deal with the situation deal with the responsibility what do you do you give yourself your own ipad and scroll mindlessly online and escape the reality that is essentially what you're doing to yourself you're becoming your own ipad kid anytime that you have like an emotional fallout you give in so easily you give in to that cookie you give in to your phone you give in to those bad habits into that guy or whatever you know you give in to yourself a lot and you're essentially just avoiding your own emotions instead of having to deal with it instead of creating these healthy boundaries within yourself of like you know what i'm gonna tackle this i'm gonna focus on this and i'm gonna figure out how i can make the situation better instead of escaping your reality that is how you reinvent yourself stop giving into the ipad and start dealing with stuff start looking at your surroundings being like what have i fucked what what have i avoided that needs that needs my attention now what have i avoided avoided that's now causing so much anxiety that i can't i can't progress in life so live breathe and consume my battery is gonna die so i'm gonna stop here if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and please click that notification bell down below so you do know when i need to upload and follow me on all my social media i'm at Jaldi Silva. please join my free membership and check out my website jaldisilva.com thank you so much and i'll see you guys later bye